burping, when is it abnormal, belching, a physiological reflex that many of us experience daily, offers a unique window into our digestive health. Contrary to popular belief, emitting a small number of burps daily is a normal aspect of human physiology, reflective of the air we ingest throughout the day. However, when burping becomes frequent or troublesome, it's advisable to consult a healthcare professional. Here's why understanding your burping habits is essential. From a specialist's perspective, belching is naturally occurring, it's a common misconception that burping is inherently bad. In reality, a moderate amount of belching is natural, stemming from the air swallowed during eating and breathing. It's only when burping becomes excessive or bothersome that medical advice is recommended. The reality of belching disorders, while it might seem like a convenient excuse for post meal burping, belching disorders, such as supergastric belching, are legitimate conditions where excessive air is swallowed into the esophagus, leading to frequent and repetitive burping. Behavioral therapy is often employed to help patients recognize and modify their swallowing patterns to reduce excessive belching, gastroparesis, and burping. Gastroparesis, or partial paralysis of the stomach muscles, can lead to increased belching. This condition is notably prevalent among individuals with diabetes, which can damage the nerves controlling stomach function. The exact causes beyond diabetes remain under investigation but the impairment of nerve or muscle function in the stomach is a known contributor, swallowing difficulties, and belching. Trouble with swallowing can indicate an underlying issue, as it often leads to the ingestion of excess air, resulting in the need to belch. If swallowing difficulties are reported alongside frequent burping, further examination is warranted to identify any potential obstructions or functional problems, odorous burps, and health concerns. Unpleasant smelling burps, especially those resembling rotten eggs, may indicate more serious digestive issues, including problems with stomach emptying or blockages that warrant immediate medical attention. Tumors and burping frequency, while not a primary symptom, increased burping can be associated with esophageal tumors, which may also present with weight loss, vomiting, or changes in bowel movements, bloating and burping connection, functional dyspepsia, often mistaken for reflux can cause bloating and increased burping. This condition is characterized by a persistent sense of fullness and discomfort in the upper abdomen, leading individuals to belch in an attempt to relieve pressure. Reflux-induced belching, gastroesophageal reflux disease, GERD, can trigger frequent belching as stomach acid irritates the esophagus, causing individuals to swallow air in an attempt to alleviate discomfort. Surgical implications on burping, certain surgical procedures on the stomach, aimed at addressing reflux, may hinder one's ability to belch. Additionally, achalasia, a condition that restricts the passage of food and liquid from the esophagus to the stomach, can make burping difficult. While burping is a common and natural bodily function, excessive or abnormal burping patterns may signal underlying health issues. A comprehensive understanding of one's burping habits, coupled with professional medical advice, is paramount in maintaining optimal digestive health.